Every once in a while, a K-pop group comes along that shakes things up, plays a different game, and paves a new way for others to follow. And Triple S is beyond that. Like, I struggle to even think of it as a K-pop group. It's more like a sorority that pumped up their numbers by recruiting grade schoolers. If you didn't know, they're 24 members. That's the largest K-pop girl group of all time. So you might be thinking, how will I ever learn all their names? It'd be easier to learn a foreign alphabet. Yeah, it probably would be, but that doesn't mean we can't make it fun. So let's take a look at that sorority analogy again. I mean, after all, the members live together in houses. The only thing stopping them from throwing red cup ragers are the Big Brother style cameras put in every room which through the internet watches every waking moment of their life, and the fact half of them can't drink yet, that too. I'll be giving a quick overview of each member, explaining their personalities and roles as if they're part of this big triple S sorority house, and showing some funny clips. Disclaimer, I do not know the members personally, so this will be a big simplification of who they are and is meant only as an entertaining introduction. Thank you. One last thing, for those that don't know, the members are all S's. Don't ask me why. And S1 was revealed all the way back in May 2022. Now, two years later, the group is complete with the reveal of the final member, S24. So grab some food and your beverage of choice, because this is gonna be a doozy. On your mark, get ready. Start. Yeah. <laughs> Seoyeon is the great founding mother of the sorority. Yeah, yeah, a pretty easy analogy, seeing as she's the first member ever. But the caveat is, she didn't really know what was happening. It's more like her friend dared her to start a sorority, and she said, what's the worst that could happen? Before Triple S, she was a normal high school student who got cast by Mod House. She hadn't even danced for anyone until this exact video. <gasps> So seeing her constant progress over the past 24 months is one of the best parts about her. She's also been there for every member afterwards, giving advice and guidance. She's mature and reasonable, and really feels like the mom of the group. Because of this, she gravitates towards leadership roles, even if they're not specifically asked for. But she's also brutally competitive, maybe the most so on the team. I'm the best stairs woman. In the Triple S sorority, Hedin is in charge of marketing. Like, if she's on camera, she will promote her members endlessly. She'll just snap her eyes to the viewer and go, She makes eye contact with the camera so often, it's almost fourth wall breaking. <laughs> yep, that's me. And finally, she's really good at dancing. Okay, hear me out. You know that girl at the party who looks really elegant, but once you go up and speak to her, you realize she's down to earth and kind of goofy? That's Jiu. I sometimes have to remind myself that yes, she's an idol. She's the resident cook, whipping up delicious dinners and the most brutal pranks. <laughs> I could talk about how friendly Cheon is, or how experienced she is being an ex-member of Busters, but why would I do that when I could talk about her most iconic trait? Noise. <laughs> She's the unintentional hype girl. Her natural reactions to everything are top notch. <laughs> so she manages to be the silliest, shyest, and friendliest member all in one, and livens up any situation. Hence, life of the party. Bye. Yuyun. Where where do I even start with Yuyun? You see that? That's Yuyun. This effortless pose, the captivating beauty, that about sums up her vibe. She's like the president of the sorority. Being the oldest, everyone respects her. The <laughs> 
Plus, she has the beauty and she has the brains. After all, she's pursuing a degree in science at university. <laughs> and to top it all off, she's nice to every single member. Normally, I spend minutes on end searching for the perfect footage for each segment, but with Yuyun, I could just throw anything on the screen and get my point across. Don't be fooled though, behind her pretty exterior lies awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> Sumin is the freshman who will join anyone's conversation at any moment, never stop talking, and never get tired. <laughs> Even though she isn't the Makne anymore, it still sort of feels like it. She's the chaotic little sister who loves to be loud, honest, and whatever this is. <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I- Seven. End of level one. Nakyung has that calm and composed image, giving her the uncontested status of cool girl. She screams confidence when she's dancing, and also when she's doing literally anything else. And warning, if you try to mess with her, she'll be brutally honest. Oh, Helen, you know, this time. But she has her fair share of goofs. <laughs> and if that didn't make her cool enough, her sister is the soloist, BB. Way to go, bringing those industry connections to the group. You were already cool, but now we're just adding the cherry to the top, huh? <laughs> Yubin is like the friend that a member brings to the sorority house so often, she's basically part of the family. She comes off as a bit shy and distant at first, and she's got this sleepy sheep sort of look, but once she gets in her zone and says something, she means it. <laughs> Kaede is that girl in the sorority who carries herself with such grace it makes you wonder if you're allowed to speak with her. But it doesn't take long for you to start noticing the cracks in that facade. <laughs> A couple other differences from your average princess. One, she dances really well. Two, she loves horror. Wow, Dang. The pledge officer is in charge of helping new members get situated, and is all around a good person. Likewise, Dahyun always wants to lend a helping hand. She's supportive of every member. <laughs> Thankful to all her fans, and happy to be where she is. She's also the main vocal of the entire team. Not bad, not bad at all. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kotone is that member of the sorority who's super easy to be around and would probably chat with you for hours on end about things like Pokemon, Stranger Things, and Luna. No, like those are actually her favorite things. <laughs> She 
She's mature, kind, skilled, and everyone sort of loves her. I'll just play her monologuing to herself, and you'll hopefully get what I mean. Well. Freshmen don't just join by themselves. Yunji is the yin to Sumin's yang. S6 really needed someone to balance her energy out, and Yunji does that perfectly. While sometimes Sumin annoys Yunji. <laughs> Other times, Yunji annoys Sumin. <laughs> But at the end of the day, they're good friends and churn out about 50% of all Machne energy in Triple S. Bye. In every fraternity or sorority, there's that one member who never fails to make people laugh. Just the mention of their name is enough to release a viral outbreak of smiles. Their unique way of speaking makes them an icon. <laughs> And yup, that's Nian. It's never a bad day to be around Nian. Also, she should join Heading and be vice marketing chair. The production chair is in charge of the group's creative endeavors, and So Hyun is a natural fit. She's a composer and has made songs for both Triple S and Artemis. You can check out her SoundCloud right now. Yeah, I mean, she's that real. She also comes off as a natural leader and gives others time to speak. With her constantly radiating maturity and girl crush energy, it's no wonder she's as popular as she is. Fifteen. End of level two. Wow. Shinwi is sort of like the, uh... The, uh, sorry, Shinwi is the, uh, whoa. Um, okay, she's in charge of beauty. <laughs> she's also a contender for the goofiest of all of them. Mayu's that one member of the sorority who's about to graduate, but she still feels like an innocent goofball. <laughs> While the consensus that she's a cutie who needs to be protected at all costs might lead you to think otherwise, she's the second oldest. That's one of her charming points. And just like a baby, I'm pretty sure Mayu's number one favorite place to be is in the arms of her members. <laughs> All right, so the next four, known as Triple S Next, have only been around for a few months, and some of them are still really shy. So I'll go over them quickly, and we'll see how they fit into the group in the coming months. 17. From what I've seen, Lin is very, very reserved. She's a lot like Kaede in that she's part of the Japanese line and doesn't speak very often, but has mad dancing swag and seems really nice. She also has a crush on S7 Nakyun. 18. Jubin is the second youngest out of all 24, and definitely gives Makne on top energy. She's quick-witted and has aptly earned the nickname Boss Baby. Hyun is brutal. Just brutal. She loves being a spectacle and having fun. I'm looking forward to seeing how her chemistry develops with the other members, because so far, she certainly has a lot of chemistry with herself. Xion has an angelic voice, and such a soft way of speaking, you can't help but like her. She also loves food. 
And finally, we arrive at the last four members, Triple S Glow. They're like the pledges of the sorority, as they just got sworn in, so to speak, and we're still getting to know them. As of writing this script, they've been around for a few days, so uh, not much to go off of. I'll just give you a little bit of what we do know, and it'll be an opportunity for you to learn and figure out who they are for yourself. Fun, right? She was a contestant on Universe Ticket, and went from passing the Mod House auditions in November 2023 to becoming a Triple S member in about 5 months. She knows martial arts, and her and Yuyun are the only INTPs. 22. The one and only Thai member. She's an INFJ and did horseback riding, so that's cool. While she still doesn't know Korean very well, I'm sure she'll learn a lot from, oh, you know, her giant 24 member family. 23, end of level 3. She's the maknae of all of Triple S, born June 11th, 2010, which makes her 13 years old. Huh? Coincidentally, her full name is Jung Herin, which, aside from a slightly different spelling, is the same name as our resident marketing chair, Jung Herin. Now, if what we've seen so far is anything to go off of, it looks like the Maknae line won't be easing up in terms of energy anytime soon. 24. At long last, we have reached S24. Round of applause. Okay, you don't need to. Let's let's wrap this up. We know Jiyeon does ballet, is an ISTP, and her real name is Soyeon. So that means the group starts and ends with Soyeon's. But aside from that, we really don't know much. We'll just have to see where the GLOW members go from here. And that was everyone. I hope my hours of research helped you make sense of this giant mega group. If you want a recommended viewing to get started with Triple S on your own time, I can't recommend their 1 the K reality show Badge War enough. You get to see the first 16 members at their absolute best. And you better get studying, because their 24 member debut is almost here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go relax like Yuyun and munch on some double stuff Oreos while exploring the land of Hyrule. So like and subscribe for more fun and insightful K-pop content, and I'll see you guys next time. Annyeong!